Okay, my next guest has won a Grammy. <laughs> I was I was going to try and say Grammy winning, but every time I try and say it, I... Crikey. No. <laughs> my uh, next guest is a Grammy winning... Oh, there you are, singing and songwriter. His latest album, Gathering Mercury, is in stores now. Well, I mean, but don't try and get it now, because it's very late in your region. <laughs> Please welcome Colin Hay, everybody. Colin Hay. Hey, how very nice to finally meet you. How are you? Good. You're quite, you're quite high, aren't you? Well, up there. high in what you mean? Excitable? No, you're, 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 you're up there quite a height. Ra yes, I have my you're chair raised up and I have a snake cup uh, and I do this because I'm insecure about my penis size. <laughs> It's actually, it's the law in late night TV, apparently, that the host has a chair that sits higher than the guest. I, it goes back to Henry VIII or something, yeah. Right. I heard, though, at the uh, Melbourne Comedy Festival, though, that you were there a long, long time ago. I was in Melbourne. The, 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 the dust is still settling from when yeah, you were there. Yeah, I was, so. uh, I was still... <laughs> whistling into liquor glasses. Um, I saw you, I saw you there one night. You were there? I was there, yeah. I'm sorry, man. It was good. <laughs> I still remember, I still remember one gag. Really? Yeah. I had gags? Yeah. Maybe yeah. it wasn't as bad as it, I thought it then. It was good. <laughs> it was good. You said, uh, you know, you say you should never um, annoy a bee. But how do you annoy a bee? Change the channel when it's, wa when it's, you know, when it's watching the television and it goes, I was watching that sting. <laughs> you, uh, I remember you're, that, not, I remember you're not originally that. from Australia, are you, Colin? <laughs> I remember that all this time. Yeah, I, no, I, I, I um, no, I'm, from, I'm you're from Saltcoats. Saltcoats uh, in Scotland. It's, it's a, a town on the coast. It's I a believe. town on the coast that people from Glasgow used to come and destroy for a couple of weeks. Of, every every summer for a couple of weeks, they would come and destroy it. It's true. During the Glasgow Fair fortnight, Glasgow yeah. Glasgow guys were tough. You know, they were. I always used to see them walking down the street, and they had winkle pickers, and there were teddy boys there, eating know? cockles from a bag, and. Uh, <laughs> And I used to, I used to want to be a Glasgow boy, but I could never be that because no. there was too many hills and dales in my blood from Ayrshire, you know. So yeah, yeah. So, and, but you then you went to Australia when I you went were to what? Australia. My, I was fourteen. One day, my father came home and says, "Right, we're off to Australia." So that's where we went. We had a music shop in Scotland. Really? Aye. What did from, you sell? Age, we sold guitars and pianos, drums and, and records and stuff. Yeah. Is that and that's how you get into men at work? Because you were a basically musician? yes, basically. Oh, my father played me the Beatles. He says, "Listen to these guys. These guys are good. They'll do well." You know. And, but uh, wait, wait, wait. If you're originally from Scotland, when you sang that song, "Do you come from a land down under?" You should have right. said, "Not originally." That's right. <laughs> but it, it, it didn't. It didn't really. I couldn't fit it in. You know. No, well, not everyone. Do I you come from a land down, down under? under. Not, not originally. originally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, I was having a hard enough time trying to, trying to rhyme breakfast with nervous. That was a very dodgy lyric. That I was, yeah, I remember that. Mm. Time and breakfast, and very nervous. nervous. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get nervous in breakfast time. Yeah. Usually about the time I was in the Melbourne Comedy Festival, That's actually. Right, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Every I, breakfast I time. I to I somebody. Like, ah. I, said, I said to a friend of mine in Melbourne, I was talking to her, and I said, uh, I'm doing Craig Ferguson's show. And she said, oh, the dust is still settling from the mayhem that he created at the Melbourne Comedy, Comedy Festival. I said, please elaborate. And uh, she didn't. <laughs> Stay right there, buddy. You know what this says? This is American dollars. Yeah. You hang on to these. And Thank keep you your very mouth much. Shut, all right. <laughs> so this is your CD, then you say? Yes, it is. No, all right. Look. Do they still do the, the CDs? Do you have it on the iTunes though? You have to I have it on, it on the, the iTunes, iTunes and yeah. it's in it's in that store. What store? Well, the store that's left. There's not very many stores that are left. So what, the, in the record store? You can get it in the record store. Do you remember when you used to go... I used to go into record stores when I was a kid, and there would always be some, forgive the word, douchebag, who would always be very kind of dismissive about your record collection. That's what I hated about it the most. But going into, going into record stores? Yeah, and there would be always some guy going, oh, you're buying that. Mm. <laughs> That's right, yeah. But we used to have, we used to have uh, people from the Glasgow Fair coming down, and they would, they would buy up big every, every, every year. They'd come in and empty the store. We always had to have... Uh, there were certain records you always had to have. You had to have uh, Jim Reeves. Jim Reeves, yeah. Johnny very, Cash. Very, very, very people important. from Glasgow love Johnny Cash. That's if you right. don't like Johnny Cash, I can have yourself, I say. <laughs> so, I mean that. <laughs> you like Johnny Cash, though, right? I do like Johnny yeah, Cash. Yeah, well, there you are, then. We're going to be all right. Yeah. 
I see your accent, even although you left Scotland when you were 14, seems very uh, non-Australian. Well, I had an Australian accent. I had two accents. I always used to go home and see my parents. I'd say I'd speak like this, and then when I'd go out in the street, I'd speak like an Australian bloke just to assimilate and not get into fights. But no, I developed an Australian accent, and then it just went away. Uh, when I came over here, I came over here 20 years ago, and it just disappeared. Where do you live now, then? I live in Topanga Canyon. That's a very... Uh... <laughs> Topanga. Yeah, your accent's completely L.A., man. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's what I'm hearing, Malibu. Yeah, right. yeah. yeah. getting a bit of Topanga in there. Yeah, uh, well, there you are, then. Well, what listen, else? um... What is that? Do you fancy... Well, you probably fancy a mouth organ instead of an awkward pause, wouldn't you? I don't know. Well, maybe there's been a couple of awkward pauses already, so maybe we could have another one. I don't mind. I don't... <laughs> I don't play the mouth organ, but I've you never don't? tried it. No. You come from a music store in Salt Coast? You were no. in there. Do you come from a land down under? Not no, originally. Yeah, yeah. And there you still? <laughs> well, who played the doo 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 doo? That was Greg. Oh. Yes, that was Greg. That wasn't on the mouth organ anyway, was no, it? No, that was on the flute. Oh, the flute. <laughs> I mean, did you, did you play the flute when you were in Scotland? I did not. I played the recorder. Oh, yes, the recorder. For Mrs. Uh, McDougall. Yeah, recorder, we used to have to play them at school. The most irritating musical instrument That's in the history correct. of musical instruments. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Always green sleeves. Always green sleeves. Yeah. Yes. Not a great, great song, I don't think. I look forward to your letters, Henry VIII fans. <laughs> Apparently he wrote that, uh, Green Sleeves. Yes, he did, yes. You think he did? I think he did, yes. Uh, Wait, did he, when did he have time? Well, of, between all the beheadings. Yes! <laughs> and oppressing the Irish yeah, as right. well. He's yeah. beheading people, oppressing the Irish. That's a full-time job that's right, right. there. And he, and he, and he... <laughs> I think he ripped it off. I think he ripped it off one of his one of his uh, one of his troubadours, you know. Oh yeah, troubadours, eh? Yes, yes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> just... Are we doing the awkward pause now? I think then? we are. Uh, <laughs> it's going quite well. I think it's uh, it's excellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, mouth organ, though, fancy? Sure, one? sure. Yeah, all right not? then. Uh, but you already say you can't play. I can't play. No. All right then. Well, just you know, suck and blow. It's <laughs> right. One of the world's greatest harmonicas, that is. Well, you have the natural confidence of a born musician, though. Even though you can't play, I you can't go at play, you, but, but you go at it like I go at it like a like I can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Much like the way I play this job. You ready? Yeah. Oh, well, th what are we going to do it now? Well, you're going to just rehearsal with it. No, you no no. You're well, there's no rehearsing in this show. Yeah. No. This is just but a, you're going to come back and actually play music. You're going to play music when you come back. I am, but this is a combination of the awkward pause and the harmonica playing, right? Oh, I like it. Yes. Oh, I like your style. All right. No, let's go for discords. Okay. No. Oh, that's what I was going for. But. No. Yeah. <laughs> Please uh, welcome back to perform Send Somebody from his album Gathering Mercury. Please welcome the very talented Scottish Australian Colin Hay, everybody. Colin. <laughs> talking to no more automation I'm hoping you can walk me through and solve my situation it's after midnight I've been on hold so long you broke through the silence now I'm not alone you're asking me help you see the words begin to flow this was not my plan or my intention how was I to know for such a short time I feel I've known you for so long but I don't think I can make it all on my own so since
You have to know I can't let go Now I made this connection It's either love that runs the show Or random speculation In my desperation I'm a danger to myself And I need your direction Yeah, I need someone 